Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique host. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not nothing walk on. Hey, man. So, man, today is a special day. Every day is a special day, but mm -hmm. not like today. Now, nah, I don't play. <laughs> Listen, man, we got a guy here today, man. I've been listening to his music ever since he sent it to me, and I've been blown away by it, to be honest with you, man. I've had a lot of guests on here, and it, I say a lot. There's been a few few on here. It's been about three months now that we've been solid. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just want to say, man, that this guy, man, blowed my mind, man. I ain't going to lie to you, man. It felt, it felt so good, bro, man. Check it out, man. Asshole and gold is in the building. Yes, he is. Man, what's going on? Man, I ain't happy to be here, man. Boy, I'm so glad to get you here. You don't even know, nigga. Yep. I, I come pick you up. You, all you have to do is say, <laughs> listen, man, it ain't even have to be an Uber or none of that. You hear me? Yeah. I'm your Uber, nigga. I came got you. You said, E, man, I'm over here at such and such. I'm like, okay, I'm on my way. Yeah. I'm going to five up the pacer, nigga. I'm coming to get you. Yeah, make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> so how you been doing, man? man? I've been good, man. Blessed, blessed, man. We making it past this little freeze and the end of this epidemic, hopefully. hopefully. Yeah, 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 yeah hopefully. So, yeah, man, I've been surviving. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so the thing I like about you, man, is your style of your music, man. The way, the way your cadence is, the way you change it up. It's a lot of stuff you doing that I ain't never really seen done. I tried to compare you to Andre Three Thousand, but then you went to singing on me, yeah. and it sounds something like I never <laughs> heard before, bro. When I sleep, yeah, oh, man, oh man, man. Hey, man. Hear the singing what? Part. what? Yeah. Man, me, are you crazy? Give me a little bit of the. I don't Man, know, he was just doing it earlier. We're gonna get to it. Gonna get to you were just doing it earlier. You was over. That's why I was mad because you was over there, and I'm frustrated trying to get you over here to get these <laughs> the, the cameras on because the nigga was in here getting. Do it. And he sounded good. Sound good. You got to know the music, man. The music is it, it's just a vibe, man. It's so. I'm a, I'm a hurt singer, man. Like, I don't really necessarily be singing. I just be kind of feeling, feeling on the mic. You know I noticed man? that. I know it, it's oh, a. Yeah, okay, yeah it's, a, it's a vibe. It ain't yeah. like he, he just feel the. Oh, no, it ain't like that. Yeah. He just going he he to vibe out with it. you. Yeah. You and I know. It. See, I'm rocking with it. I'm loving it. Yeah, yeah man. So, so the thing I say about you, man, is. Um, I was trying to figure out, I'm trying to, because, you know, people ain't going to say it, but we try to figure out what make this person tick or mm -hmm. who inspired this person to be, and I couldn't come up with nothing, bro. Who inspires you, bro? Uh, so, honestly, initially when I got off into music, nobody did. Yeah, you know I can tell you, because it's like nothing I ever heard before. Right on. Being real, and that's, right. a, that's a compliment. Yeah. Over time, though, I grew admiration for certain artists, though. Like okay. You, Andre 3000, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Pimp C. Boy, don't say that. Big, Listen, a, big stop crit. right there, nigga. I'm going to put you out. Hey, you can't be on. You know how I do about Pimp. Yeah, he loves I'm a straight the Pimp he fan, nigga. Himself. And love the nigga and miss the nigga and didn't get to meet the nigga. Boy, that pissed me off. Bam. Yeah. yeah. That, I, I heard. I met Bun yeah. a few times because I'm I'm in the city and I'm all around and I'm in Vegas, wherever. But I never got to meet the Pimp. And I love that dude, yeah. bro. Like, and, and that's a good. I guess God worked it out that way. Mm. So Pimp was one. Let's go. Let's keep going. Yo, uh, Pimp. Uh, Big Crit, Big Crit. I yeah, I love Big Crit. I love man. Big Crit too, man, because he represents something else, man. He from Mississippi, ain't he? yeah. I might get that boy on the show, man. Shout out Big Crit. Like Crit is that artist that's like you. You gotta respect what you hear from him. That nigga go with it. He, he come he with it. Too talented, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. All of his music is cold, man. It's yeah, cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, he Big he Crit. he that he that one artist because like. I don't listen to music, but it, I've had periods of time in my life where I have, you know, riding around to a couple of CDs. Big Crit was one of those artists. Like, Big Crit, I Big ride around to some Crit, man. That's so crazy. You you do music, but you say you don't listen to music. I don't. That's how I, I feel like I keep my originality. I like that, too. By that's not good letting answer. nobody else. You won't get lost in the sauce, yet. nigga. You well, where did you, well, where did your style? Because the first thing I saw when um, we looked you up, I love your fashion. I love your style. It's different. Oh, thank, you, thank you, kind. And that's oh uh, yeah, thing, that you know, get, people, yeah, yeah. He get fresh. And yeah. That's where to me it does remind me of Andre three thousand because he'll put some stuff together. You're like, 
first you're like, but you're like, huh, oh, okay, right, right on. I see it. Right but on. I love that. So where did you get that style from? Were you always like that, even <clears throat> from a kid? No, nah, so that actually uh, go back into like me not listening to music. Mm -hmm. It's the same way with like fashion and style as well. You know what I'm saying? I uh, whenever I, I first in my adolescence started getting into fashion and music and stuff like How that. How old were you, like the 13? Around that age, mm -hmm. you know, 13, 14, when I started even taking interest in, in stuff outside of my bedroom. Like, yeah. I, yeah. you know what I'm saying? As a kid, I was being a kid more so. Right. Than, I like, get it. Than uh, maybe the average life of somebody uh, urban adolescent. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I, I didn't really do a lot of outside activities. I ain't play basketball and football or go to the park or – we ain't chill outside and shoot marbles. Whatever kids did, I didn't do. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Was, I was real. Uh, I grew up idle, you know, to myself. I ain't understand a lot about what other people did because I wasn't into that. those Did you have siblings? Yeah, I had. Uh, I'm the baby, though. Okay. So I was Yeah, your father and mother in your life? My mother, yes. Okay. Mother, my so father, you were raised no. by a single mom? Yeah, okay. and my, my mom worked hard, man. Like yeah, real, yeah. Real Shout hard, out to you know? what's your mom's name, man? Karen. Karen. Shout out to Karen, man. Yeah. Boy, you got something special here. That's all I can say, oh, man. She know it. She did a good job with this one. She know what she did. <laughs> <laughs> she know what she I did. I love the way how yeah. how he said, but oh, you being man. a baby boy, I bet you you the spoiled one. Nah, it ain't necessarily happened like like that as far as me being just spoiled, you know, uh, I, I would say I got more of the attention, you know, just being the youngest because all of my, uh, I have one brother and two sisters. Okay. And our age difference is, uh, okay. my my closest sister is like five or six years wow. older okay. than me. So they looking out. Yeah. Good so, looking out. But uh, I just definitely love what you do, man. Like I said, the, the sound was crazy. And, you know, when I first, I, I tell you about one that really got to me, you know, uh, is it burn, burn for me? Burn for me, yeah. Man, let me, let me say Scarface. something, man. When I heard, yeah. when I seen, I said, boy, his face was to eat this little young nigga alive. This nigga done got on his mic with, what the hell wrong with this boy? Uh, you know, uh, <laughs> now, wait a uh, minute. Uh, I'll just tell you, but when I heard it, I said, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that young nigga switching it up. He know, it, nigga, it's a battle on he these songs. Yeah. You he held, held it like, hey, like you've been there forever. And that's what, yeah. that's what I love. Like, like this dude seemed like he belonged, right? Just where he at. And, Grammy Award winning. Yeah. yeah, I'm talking about could go there, bro. Yeah. Could, can, can scale up. I, that's the way I see it, bro. And that's why when I when I heard you, I'm like, because I always felt like they didn't give a Scarface his just due anyway. Oh, they didn't. So I felt that. They so did. when I when I when when you see me say things, it, it's it's contrary more to what the masses even do because I listen to the music. I don't yeah. care nothing about what everybody and you know how I am. Mm. I don't care if another nigga could never see what I could see anyway because he ain't got my ears. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> see, look, they, they go back into the fashion thing with her. Like, I I like what I like. That's you know it. what I'm saying? I never had influence at that age. That's when you mostly influence. That's right. 13, mm -hmm. 15, right, you know, right. whatever. I ain't have a lot of friends to give me influence or to rub off on me. So a lot of my desires and my wants was of my own intention like See, people you know always say you must get it from somewhere like whether your mom the way how she dressed somebody may not specifically told you but because of what you see and be like oh i like that you know yeah. what i mean i seen i seen a lot of things and i out of those things i seen i like this that and the other you know oh, really? it was just like mm -hmm. yeah so i don't have no style of dressing i don't yeah. have no style of music i don't have no no category to be put in you yeah. know what i'm saying i'm i'm widespread yeah and i like to be that type of artist and you are that type of artist oh yeah i'm I love for it. sure Co country you know. blues hip-hop reggae it. whatever gospel all around all around, you know all around. get yeah. down Do you have any kids i have two two so kids let me ask you a question yeah. because i know when i was reading up on you um how you got your name right. you say you're very brutally honest the way how you say things and some people can yeah. misconstrue that in in a way where they call you that I get name you. Right. and that's the reason why you came up with that name are any of the kids like that oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah not on accident either they do that on purpose purpose yeah. they, 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 they dead look how they look at the example no, they got but, they, but, they got to look but at the funny thing when you are like that to yeah other my people, kids totally opposite it, yeah but then when you have a child who is like that yeah. sometimes you be like 
You know what I mean? Like you can't take it when your kids are like that. My daughter compared. like me, so I get it. So how you my feel? daughter, my, give both me of my daughters okay, like so me. My daughter give me hair. Yeah. She's just like you. My my son ten, my daughter five. You know, my my son is uh, he he mild man. You know, he 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 more personable. Mm. My daughter is more like, say I made some food uh not too long ago, maybe like a month and a half ago. We eating, and I asked my son. I'm like, you like it? He's like, yeah, it's good, daddy. I'm like, you like it, baby? Now, at first, <laughs> when she first started eating, I heard her say she liked it. Yeah, 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 yeah. She yeah. was talking to her brother, though. Yeah, you yeah. Know? So uh, a little time passed. I guess she had her her feel. Yeah. You know, she didn't want no more. So I'm like, yeah, you you don't like it, baby? You like, you like the food? She was like, dad. This food is trash. <laughs> I say, like, wow. wow. <laughs> That's good, man. Wow. That's the way it be, say, man. man. Come on. And it's only going to get worse the older they get. I know. Oh, uh, yeah. That fly, the, the mouth, and they don't mean it in a disrespectful way, but it's like, like a, we raise our kids to speak your mind. Yeah. Don't yeah. let anybody Most cow definitely. you down. You know, yeah. speak it, but speak respectfully. Yeah. But right. sometimes it can come across because they're quick with their words. Yeah. yeah. So they it can come articulate. across in a yeah. certain yeah. way. Oh, yeah. she do it all the time. Let's get back to that 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 Scarface banger with you and Scarface Burn for me. Mm-hmm. What's up with that? How did y'all guys come up with that? How did you come up with that concept? And just just tell us a little bit about how the, how the whole process went. So in any situation where I'm creating, I never go into the room with an idea. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If I start with a blank canvas with everything. I yeah. don't even I don't even like to uh plan too far ahead of what I'm gonna do. You know that's what I'm good. saying? That's, that's different. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. when okay. I when I go in the studio, uh I'm in whatever mood I'm in. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah. it's more so a uh the energy come from the production. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it's like play me a couple of beats. Yeah. I might he might pay me ten beats, I pick two or three, and then I the one I like most, then I just kinda just sit there and vibe with it, you know. Mm-hmm. And then I hear cadences. I don't write music really. Yeah, 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 yeah. I listen to the beat like it's a person. And, and you he'd go, be and like you start going. The the beat be like now go in there and say da 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 then say that, 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 like literally it flow yeah. it flow out of me. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I got I got five songs on this project that I I didn't write at all. Like I just kind of stood in front of the microphone and when came in. came up with a couple of bars, which is not freestyling. Whatever camera, I mean, I this this the one right say here. Say that too. I hate when people say they they oh check out this new freestyle I just dropped. Yeah, you freestyling that's rhythmic flow. From your mind, your heart, like just coming out. Like, yeah, yeah, you know yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Not punching in. Like, not punching you know what in. I'm yeah. But uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much how I create, that's, man. That's yeah. what's up. I love it. I love so what you're saying about let, it. So let, let's get let me get the story though. I'm I'm trying to get this Scarface and mm-hmm. you burned yeah. for me. How did I seen the little video skit where y'all kind of went back and forth, talked a little bit. Yeah. But how was it? did what y'all did this together in the studio? Yeah, yeah. All right. So uh. My part, I actually recorded on on my own, and then when when I decided to put Scarface on the record, then uh, in the process of us seeing if it could happen or whatnot, okay, and uh, he said he would, you know, so okay. we just kind of got together, and uh, we met up at uh, I can never think of the name of this studio. Studio in Houston. Yeah, it's a studio in Houston. It's a nice studio. Too. Yeah, yeah. Really oh, nice. I could tell it looked real good. Yeah, nice. Look real good. Look the 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 cameras were bright. Yeah. Whole vibe was right. My boy uh Steve O. Okay, you know, he, okay. He the plug, man. Already. Black Card Steve O. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cat out in Houston. Yeah. He do management production. Man, shout out Black Card Steve O. What's up, baby? Yeah, man. He 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 low key half the reason for the season. Really? Yeah, man. Like man. When, I, when I first had my first record that popped off, it was a song called Chili and Dabu. Yeah. Uh he was the one that kind of tied together a couple of the, the the strings I needed, you know, in, in, in the beginning of my career. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he used to travel with me initially. We was Steve fly, taking flights everywhere. Everywhere I got on the plane, Steve O was right there. That's love. You know what I'm That's saying? love. Yeah, that's my dog, man. Shout out Steve Shout out Steve O, man. Yeah, I, was I, like, I need to get him on the show. See, I'm working with... Not really. He's no, a, that's he's what a I'm mobile. Saying. He's a media I need, mobile. Yeah, you, need, you need to plug me in. I'm, I'm looking at Brad Jordan because yeah. we got a plug on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He already heard about the show. We already... We, yeah. We knock it. Yeah. 
Hey man, what's up? Well, yeah, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> we knocking. So I mean, I think it takes that man when you really want something, you got to go at it and, mm-hmm. and and go at it with dogmatically go at it in a way to where you ain't gonna take no for an answer. Oh yeah, and 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 that's that's the whole game. But just seeing the new vibe, loving the way that he being a older cat and you being a little younger than him because me and him we kind of the same run the same i didn't i didn't rocked out with him a few times okay. back in the day That's but the thing is um he bridged that gap you know what i mean he because a lot of times it don't happen like that and in conversation he's told me like you know what i'm saying like we actually developed a friendship like we ain't just I ain't just get him on a song. No, no, no. You, you can tell. Saying? Yeah, he like what you're doing. And he he tell me too much. He no, tell, I, he like man, bro. You the you the one. No, no. He you know. The one. That's that's how you. That, like, that's how yeah. you, he know. I know. I heard him say it on the video. I'm like, yeah. that nigga ain't lying. Yeah, that nigga ain't lying. You know? love, man. Shout out face, man. <laughs> Shout out to yeah. that boy Brad I'm Jordan love, Scarface, man. We in Texas, ever. baby. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? We hey, we Texas back. That's what I yeah. love about this platform, man. I'm yeah. from Texas, man. Yeah. I love Texas. Yeah, he rapped Texas. <laughs> so I, yeah, yeah, me too, man. I'm Texas the truest, man. Yeah. I see you with the Texas. Yeah, peeps, yeah, I got to know, have it every man. time. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm I, every time the camera come on, nigga, y'all gonna feel us. Yeah, that's the way I look at it, man. Oh, man. In the Texas. Yeah. So you say that whenever you're in the studio, it just flows you don't ever write it down have you ever went no, to a, I, I write but i'm well, saying like i don't most of the yeah. time. but have you ever been to the studio music comes on and nothing comes to you uh not nothing come to me because my mind is is gonna work like okay but it's uh i got a uh a threshold like i'm trying to meet like you know so it's like Nah, this this ain't it. Like I I record something, it just might not be up to par to me. Like mm-hmm. you know, and uh, but I ain't I ain't never really just walked in and just drew a complete blank. Like, like nah. And then I usually keep shit in the vault. You know what I'm saying? I got Always. all kind of stuff in my phone. You know what I'm saying? So if I get up in there and this ain't going right or that ain't going right, I'm just gonna, you know what I'm saying? Pull up something and put it down. So. Yeah. What are your requirements for your own music? Because just like you said, you have a threshold. Everybody hold themselves to a certain standard that I'm not going to do less than this. Mm. This is what I'm going to produce and produce at all time. My quality needs to be here. My vocals need to be here. What is that for you? Uh, <clears throat> it starts off with you like as an artist. When you get in the studio, and that's uh, something I think a lot of beginning artists don't necessarily understand, when you get in the studio, the engineer, the producer, the people who wrapped around the song can't make nothing more than what you've done. Like you exactly. can't, you have to speak clearly into the microphone. You have to get your your words out right. You might make it flow. You have to have the your own cadences. You know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. Your own originality, and then they can amplify on that. But if you go in there and do the minimal, yeah, they can amplify on the minimal, but it's not going to be. Not, yeah, right, you know what I'm saying? Right. So it starts with, you know, with your you. performance. And after that, then I need A1 engineering. Like, I need <clears throat> the guy who's actually recording me to be knowledgeable so that it's not taking time away from my creativity at the mic. Because Do you research who you're going to work with before you actually go work with them to make sure that they can offer you what you really need or you not really because I like to form new relationships. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And I don't mind teaching somebody something. Okay. Like not necessarily teaching, teaching like as far as engineering, but, but for what, what, you what like. I want. Yeah. Right. You know what I'm saying? So you know a little bit about engineering as well. Uh, yeah, I recorded uh half of the project myself. This oh. project that I'm about to drop, uh it's called the H team. It's gonna be dropping on the fourth of next month. On the fourth of next month. Yes, yes. Definitely, definitely. Easter. I got to write that down so I can, you know, at least shout you out when you Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, I yeah. would appreciate what is the that. Name? What's yeah. the name of it? It's called the H Team. The H Team. Okay. Yeah, and how'd you come up with that name? Uh, Houston Team. I know, know. it. I, yeah. I know. <laughs> but I, yeah, but I want to hear, I want to hear how, what made him go with that. He could have went a whole lot of different ways, man. So, uh, <laughs> somebody on my live talking about seeing Chile and Dabu. <laughs> but, uh, uh now, really? um, uh, and what's she asking me? Uh, she How did you with, come up with, with that, that name? H- H- yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, H team. So the A team, of course, you know, it's a spinoff of of that. You know? Okay. Okay. Uh, so it's more like a militarized 
presence of a project, you know. So I, all the uh, artwork and stuff like that is like uh, secret files, and uh, I'm, I'm planning to do some like uh, videos called, uh, you know, what a honey pot. Have you ever heard the, the term honey pot? No. It's like uh, somebody in in like military service that is like real pretty, mm-hmm. or, and but they still a soldier so okay, it's like they okay, might send you, you on a mission to do something and but it's really to seduce somebody or something like that so that's like, your vision for your video that you're going to be doing yeah that's what i'm gonna use for the promos okay, just okay find awesome. a couple pretty women you know awesome. and kind of have them doing stuff a little certain little stuff to to boost it up well, but, really, uh, man. yeah but the project consists of half of houston man like uh I told you I already took a trill on the project. Took a trill, man. RP took a trill, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That 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 was something that really. I know it. Like, you uh, yeah, you yeah, tatted up yeah, on yeah, that, didn't you? That, that fucked me up. Man. Yeah, because I see you did that song <clears throat> with him called "Register to Carry." Yeah, we actually did uh, two or three records. He on this the uh, the new one the new that project. Yeah, be. on the record called "The Bottom" featuring T. Flu. Wow. Yeah. Oh. Uh, happy that we. Got to, got to do get the, the video, work, you know what I'm saying? Would have loved to love to see him here, man. You right know, on. it's just something we lose so many of our young brothers, man, and and and, and it's like and they be good spirited people too. You, it, it, I mean, it's it's sad, bro. Like I, I just keep I can go through just rapper after rapper that that this stuff keep happening to, and it, it really be affecting me because I got a love for our people, you know, I, I, especially the younger generation, man, and that's who it's targeting the most. So yeah. a lot of people blame it on the, on the music, bro. And I, I know, and I, what about that? Do you, what do you think? What do you yeah, think? Yeah, so my overall mission is to build my brand to be something that can change the my, the, the minds of men. Mm-hmm. You know, so my label is called Fame Gang Records. Okay. Uh, it's like a vampire theme yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, I, I, I seen that. That that kind of spilled from the type of men originally with the story of vampires that they were. Like, yeah. you know, honest, true, hold to their values. They said something, they meant something. I, I even like older movies set in those times, period, just like old war movies and stuff yeah. like that because people held true to what they what they said and what they did and they frowned on on things that the public shouldn't mm-hmm. if it was something that was widely spreading evil yeah. you know what i'm saying but nowadays evil is so tolerable that yeah. it's like the norm yeah. you know what i'm saying somebody uh objectifying women and drugs violence whatever it is it's like that's what people are aspiring to be yeah. like why would you aspire to be the wrong things you know so Growing up in my adolescence, that's kind of what kept me from having gr- certain groups of friends and hanging with certain people, doing certain things. Cause I was just like, "This, it's not it." Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, whenever I started realizing people were still drawn to me, you know, even though I wasn't on a lot of that stuff, I started saying, "Well, why not? I, why don't I use my influence mm-hmm. to bring righteousness back?" You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. That's how that's, that's, that's real. That's my that's overall so crazy, mission. Cause we were man. talking about that the other day that more musicians need to turn around the way how the young generation is going yeah. with the influence and try to influence them in a positive way instead of trying to tell them to do things that are not really you know yeah good for yeah. them. To it's, do. it's it's just it's time. Right. I, the book I read says high time. Mm-hmm. It's really time. Like we got to start doing something. I think that's that's something that we all have to do together. You know what I mean? I I, I even kind of scold myself because initially coming into the, this process and my stardom and stuff, I felt like I needed to test both waters in mm-hmm. a sense to draw people in. Yeah, you know? yeah. And just like, okay, well, let me do some real vulgar yeah. sounding songs or some yeah. s- real club violently sounding yeah. songs. But when they start catching wind, I got like almost disgusted with myself. Yeah. You know, Cause I'm, I hear back like, I was, that's deep. We was riding in the car. That's deep. Was that yesterday when I said that? Like I got uh, three records. Now these are like some of the people, or some of my fans like favorite records. Like yeah. uh, Ghetto, it's a song called Ghetto Baby. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was, what was the other one? Wheels on the Bus. And uh, I saw that. it's the third one, but uh, those, and beautiful is love. 
Okay. Now these songs are good songs. Like you know what I'm saying? It's it's clubby. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's gonna catchy. Make, it's gonna bring it. It's yeah. gonna bring it. But I'm on there just <laughs> you, know, you evolving, and, 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 and right. I, I know what it is. Sometimes you grow, you growing, and and people be expecting you to stay in the same place. It's not fair. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because people develop more and more, and as you grow, it's certain things you look back on and be like, oh, I did that, sure but did. Yeah. I ain't there no more. You know. Yeah. But at the end of the day, those are growing spurts. And to be honest with you, that's a part of who you are. That's mm -hmm. your testimony. So that right really on. helps people too, because they can see the other part of you if they be honest with themselves. And right sometimes on. you might lose some right? some listeners, but then you will gain a lot more. That's right. Right as on. well too. I think so it's, you can't watch that. I think it's more more that that like. He's he's he knows the impact of that song and what it does and yeah. what it says and it's power in words. It's it so much power in words and the way you articulate them, yeah. it makes it even more powerful. Let's just talk about that for a second. Certain mm -hmm. people can say something don't mean much, right but on. when but when yeah, asshole in gold say something, mm -hmm. yeah. it's a whole different level. It's true, and that's the way you have to look at things. Everybody can say things, but they don't say it and have the impact that you're gonna have. Right on, and that's the and, game. And when you have a platform. You kind of got to start looking at stuff like that. Like I know, uh, I don't really like saying other rappers' names and and stuff. But yeah, I, I'm gonna say it this time. But uh, <laughs> what's his name? ASAP Rocky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, uh, and Lil Wayne too. They both did some along the same level. Yeah, they was asked by the media, you know, like, oh, what do you think about? Uh, I remember that. Uh, all the violence and the yeah. police violence yeah. and da da da. And ASAP yeah. Rocky was like. I ain't, it ain't a, like I forgot what he said. Yeah, but he was come like, back I ain't worried about like that. Like, it you know it bit him hard, didn't it? Yeah. Then he ended up getting arrested in another <laughs> country. <laughs> bit him. And then, oh man, come on, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. It's like, no, nah, what happened nah, to him? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, yeah. Stand, you know stand, stand, stand nah, on what stand you on said. That. Stand yeah. on that. Like, you know what keep saying? that same energy. And and Lil Wayne, he said, uh, he was like, what did what did he say? He said some of those words. Oh, it was like. He said, uh, he said that he doesn't worry about racism. Ra yeah, racism it don't ain't real in his life. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Like because so, of he said something about the white guy picked him up when he got shot. I remember I heard yeah, it. I heard like, him loud and clear. But at the end of the day, those things that you say come back to weigh on you heavy because the people, you know, that you represent, you know, where you came from. Um, like I said, I think that if you plant a bad seed you'll get a bad harvest mm -hmm. wow. and it may not come back you still could have money but it don't mean you happy yeah. people don't realize that so many people think that money equates to happiness Fame but it money. don't but it, it don't. don't and, and yeah. you can learn that by robin that got it that robin williams got it killed his seven he had 80 million the actor, dollars the actor. Mm -hmm. yeah so you know it don't equate to happiness sometimes you can't find yourself within the algorithm of who you are and it can mess you up right on. and no matter how much money you got no matter who all know you you still are in a place where you feel lost. Right on. It happens. But and that's like, just the way it is. But just like I had to ask another um, person that we had on here that's in the music industry, I'm like, I can I feel sorry for artists because if you're having a bad day, somebody passed away, you still got to go to work. You still yeah. got to go on that stage. We just talked about that with Lil right. Ronnie, wasn't it? And you have, no, it wasn't Lil Ronnie. It wasn't Lil Ronnie? Um, I thought Somebody. it was Lil Ronnie. Probably. But, but, you know, you have to put that on. He said it's a job. It's a yeah, job. it was Lil Ronnie. He, yeah, he said it's a job. But then you have a job that you have to affect thousands and millions of people right. everywhere Influence. compared to you're going to an office where you're just dealing with one and two people here and there, whatever. It, it's a different, it's so much more pressure to it me. Is. So yeah. Yeah. It's, it's hard and for it, some people to handle everybody that. Everybody live their life online now too. Yeah. You know, yeah. There's no mm -hmm. privacy, there's no mm -mm. boundaries, mm -mm. there's no... Now it's a man laying on the floor bleeding, shot, but it's somebody standing over him with a camera. Like why? You, right. Like that's, that's crazy. It's, it's so weird. weird to it's me. weird. It's like, different you know now. What I'm you never would have seen that back in the day. I mean, <coughs> I mean, we shot niggas leaving the club. I ain't gonna lie to you, but uh, but we didn't stand, but stand take no picture. You know, didn't take no like picture. Back in the day, we didn't do it like that. <laughs> <laughs> we and just then, shot, yeah. and then we just right, bail off. They'd be like, two people got shot. We'd be like, yeah, I heard about that. I heard, yeah, but <laughs> cool. <laughs> But we did not want to be exposed like these cats today. Man, They'll take so pictures. Weird, some man. niggas will do bad things. I know I heard a story yesterday of a nigga that done some some dirt. He want to be on my show. He want to be on this other nigga's show. He trying to do shows before he get called by the police. Yeah. 
I'm being real. This is a crazy world we live in. Right. People are doing crazy stuff all the time. You would be amazed at their concept. They like if I get caught, I still got interviews rolling. I'm <laughs> these yeah, niggas because, is on something totally look, different. But it's it's the that normality of evil in the world yeah. right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Because that's really they really smart. That's the way. truth. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not smart, like dumb smart. No, no, no. It's like, the truth. You know like people saying? are gonna tune in and look they at is. him and they're gonna be like that nigga, yeah, that's a real one right there. He did and that's this. And, so backwards. We gotta but, break that, yeah. man. But yeah. how can break we it. come back from that? Because it's so bad where to me I'm like, it's only gonna get worse. And we can't fathom the thought of how worse can it be. No. Because all we can think about is what it is right now. You know, when it, one of the things that made me realize we was just too far gone, man. I was uh, I was in an apartment in Houston a couple of years back. You know, and I'm, <clears throat> I stayed there, you know, my apartment. But uh, I can hear a conversation between my next door neighbor's son and one of his friends, wow. right? So they sound to be around like 10, 12 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. So... One of the, the friend come and knock on the door. I'm thinking somebody knocked at my door. That's okay. how I end up hearing yeah. that conversation. Yeah. So you uh, was eavesdropping. A, after I heard the beginning of the conversation, <laughs> I had to because I didn't know whether <laughs> to open the door. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So let me tell you. So he uh dude knock on the door. He like, hey, what's up, bro? He like, yeah, what's up? He like, man, can I come in and use your restroom? Our water is off at our, wow. at, at our house. This little boy say, what? You think I'm some kind of hoe ass nigga, or chump or something? Then he's like, like ten and twelve too, like you know what yeah. I'm saying. So I'm like, you think I'm some kind of hoe ass nigga? You just go try to come to my house and use my house my, and my wrist. And I'm like, and then I can hear moments later a older person in the house. Okay, so I'm like. If I can hear this conversation, they can. you can hear that conversation. You ain't tell that little boy to come in here and use that fucking restroom. That's crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? And they that let, boy, it, they boy, just let, it, let him leave. Yeah, wow. they let him leave. You know what I'm saying? And now... I, and then sometimes I feel bad about it because I think back like, like well, damn, I should have opened the door and told, the door and told him, like, man, come in. But I just... Time's so weird. You can't be inviting random kids into yeah, your yeah, house. Yeah, you don't know what, what was on his mind. You yeah, don't know. You know what I'm saying? You, you really got to just be careful on how you move anyway. But the thing is, man, um, this little kid, you know, and the way that he articulate, it comes from his parents. It mm -hmm. comes from his upbringing. Mm -hmm. So that's just that's just how the environment that he's raised in. So that that's the way we got to look at things. But I, I could say something to what you were saying earlier. Um, platforms like this. Lyrics like he's talking about, he's evolving to. Those the are the things that that are therapeutic to the ears of our youth. Right on. We have to start right now, and every little piece that we can add to it is where we can find healing. And then too, it's a heightened sense of of uh, anger amongst black people. You know what I'm saying? So it's like the music that's coming out and the media. Period. Just the any any media that's coming out is is amplifying it. And when you have a heightened emotion, and somebody throw something in your face, a lot of times you act off of it because you have a heightened emotion. Right. Yeah. It's like I used to study psychology, and the most thing that the the thing that fascinated me most about it is, is like a newborn baby. Like, wow. mm -hmm. if you if you walk up to a newborn baby that don't know you, just it's a baby sitting there, and you. Rah, jump at the baby. Baby gonna jump right. jump back like ah. It's a response. But yeah. if you start laughing after you do that, that baby, baby gonna, gonna start, start laughing. laughing too. If you yeah. if you keep it's saying energy. raw it's energy. if you he gonna start crying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you if you don't if you just say raw and just sit there, he ain't gonna know what to do. He gonna mm -hmm. have to big think on his own and he yeah. might still start laughing. Start laughing he might still start, start crying. crying. Yeah, yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? That's so it. It's like Learn behavior. Learn behavior. Yeah, That's yeah. Really what you know what I'm saying. Boils down to. Yeah. So let me ask you this, because I, I I I was looking up things on you. How did the Erica? How did Erica and you? Because I keep hearing you and Erica might do some work together. Erica yeah. Badu. Shout out to the Dallas native yeah. Erica Badu. I love the mother. The mother. The mother. Love. Yeah. How did y'all end up? How did y'all end up even? How did that conversation even start ringing throughout? So the, the crazy part about this. Mm -hmm. Erica found me. Like, How she found you? You know what I'm saying? She followed me on Instagram. Really? So one morning, I was laying in my bed, you know, just had really rolled over. Like, you know, and I'm, you know, 
wiping my eyes, you know, grab my phone, you know, kind of just scrolling through my little morning traffic, and which I do every you. morning. But yeah, and then I, I was you like, you thought it was catfish or something? I scrolled past it. <laughs> yeah, I scrolled yeah, past yeah. it. I was like, and I read a little comment or whatever, and it just rung in my head right after I scrolled past it. And I was like, nah, let me go just click a page. I clicked the page and seen it was really wow. Erica Badu. Well, I said, I wish I could click Erica. Follow me. <laughs> <laughs> when you follow ECEO, Erica Badu, we, hey, we over here at Boss Talk 101. Yeah. Hey, you follow, hey, you follow Asshole and Go. You can follow Boss Talk Podcast 101. <laughs> Come on on the show. He a good dude. He a good dude. <laughs> I'm all right guy, right? Yeah. You know? yeah. So, but that's that's amazing, bro. Yeah, man. And the reason her. I say that is because you don't get that. She see the talent in you, bro, and I do too. I'm going to be real. I, I know exactly why. Because y'all, if for some reason, like I said, it's something different about you. It, it's not like everybody that, that, that you see. So I think that's a, a uniqueness in itself. Mm -hmm. yeah. Man, and, and love it. So so when she reached out, I mean, when she did that, what you could do? You went straight to the DM, nigga? Uh, no. Asshole and no, go look, went straight to the DM. No, this, this she is, went in this, your DM. This is what's more Wait crazy. a minute, man. Not only did she <laughs> follow me, she had sent me like five, six messages. And a voice message. So I got the voice message in my phone still. Her Are like, you yes. serious? So I was like, Ooh. I was like, what the hell? I'm, I started ain't dancing. God, ain't, God, ain't, God <laughs> ain't God good? Ain't God good? Yes. Ain't God good? Ain't God good? Amen, hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> what happened, man? I started dancing, man. I don't man. blame you. might have been out still. of dance with you, nigga. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's so, what's up. Uh, of course, man, I... I Try to let my hands calm down a little bit so I can message her back, but I'm nervous. I wish I could get that. I never had that to happen. Ain't, well, I have had a few people that was celebrity style got in on me. Shout out to mm. a couple of them. Y'all know who y'all are. Yeah. Go ahead, but, but yeah, I didn't dance because there was no Erica Badu status. But Raise the love, man. She's just like, oh my, like OMG, I love your uh, style wow. and you're so dope and da 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 da. And I'm just like, man, this is this is amazing. It's blowing my head yeah, back. Yeah. And like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm calling my team and shit like, you know, Erica Badu just follow me and you know that you know that I'm yeah, telling everybody. Yeah, I've been you know doing what I'm the saying? same thing. I'm like, same man, it, and it's going crazy. You know yeah, what I'm saying? So yeah. uh maybe like a month after that, she ended up reaching out to me again to book me for a show wow. for her birthday party. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So I, that was like one of the biggest audiences I had ever you performed. You did? Performed. Yeah. And y'all yeah. talked and everything. Yeah, yeah. This is a real we, relationship. Yeah, we, that's why I say when I meet when I meet people, I you can't walk away from me. No, no. I can <laughs> like, tell you that now. I already you know. know. As soon as I talk to you, you know the nigga fly, right? The nigga told me. You know what he said? Right. I said, uh, right. what's up, man? I said, man, I, I said, man, I love what you're doing. He said, you ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> That's what the nigga said. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, my hand ain't even been exposed man, yet. Man, I loved it, bro. I, I, I love the confidence. And I love, like I said, the creativity and the uniqueness, man. Just the uniqueness in the in, in what you're doing, the artistry, man. It's crazy. Yeah. Can I play a little bit of that song, man? Oh, I, yeah. Just a little. Yeah. You, All right. you can All do right. it to him. I don't want. I, yeah. I, I, I didn't want a little bit of it, cause, cause I, did you? Hear, I tried to play it for you when you was in the kitchen cooking this morning. Oh, okay. Go ahead. I just want to play a little bit I of it. I hear it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause this, which one? It's one that he ain't even put out. I'm not gonna play all of it's it. It's called Taken by My Dreams. Yeah, yeah. man, that's Talking the about. one now, man. I ain't yeah. gonna lie to you. That's the one that got me going. Is that the one you said he was singing on or something? Yeah, that's one of those songs I'm singing on. Yeah, okay. man. Yeah, man. I want to make sure I get the right one. Big blues going on. That's man. it right there. Okay, okay. That's it right there. Just a little bit for y'all. Just show y'all why I'm so excited, niggas. When I see. I'm trying to get that bridge before I cut it off, my nigga. Come on. 
Till somebody scream murder Love will murder, get more hurtful Yeah, I made love, but I still know how to fuck Listen and stand, about to empty out the trunk It hurt too hard and the pain too deep Well, I behind the gold and the clothes and the sneaks 19 in my car, sleep with them very things In the sweet side thoughts, came my off and then a free When I'm sleeping, there it is. hold on to my feet Baby, I don't wanna be taken by my dreams When I sleep, Woo! hold on to my feet Baby, I don't wanna be taken by my dreams. Man, well, I tell man. you, man, so, that's a vibe. That's so, a whole. So everything, when I sleep, I like what he said. Hold do? on to, to my, my feet. feet. I Look don't out, be taken baby. By my... I don't wanna be taken by mm -hmm. my dreams. Do you like understand what's going on? I'm you hear me? Exactly what Say, he's man. Him and him, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but man. is everything that you write true? Oh, yeah, for the most part. So I'm a wow. I'm I'm so a I'm an artist. Heartbroken and oh no, this this song I'm just meaning in general. In no, general. No, 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 sometimes I song. paint a picture, but uh, okay. yeah, that's that's that's, uh, that's our life right Ooh, there. That was okay. nice. That's our real life. Okay. Did yeah. you like it? I like. Did it flow go in or did it go yeah. in? It just yeah. kind of puts you in a mood. Yes, it do, man. Yeah. I appreciate y'all. So man. so when you when you well you already told me when you go in you heard that beat. What did you think when you heard first heard that beat? That that funny story about this song in particular, right? I wrote this song when I was 19. What? Yeah. Really? Yeah. And you just and not putting it out. Now. Yeah. So, uh, no, no, no. I wrote this song when I was, yeah, when I was 19. Wow. Yeah. That's so, crazy, and I, man. I, I actually recorded it then to another beat. And, and uh, at that time, though, I wasn't near about as what I am now. So it pretty much fell on deaf ears. So okay. I was like, mm -hmm. That don't get lost. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, 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 so yeah. I just came and recreated it on this one. You know, I just so. love the way you be singing and yeah. doing the hooks and everything. Yeah, because you did that on that one that burned for me. You did yeah. the same thing. You, yeah. you not only did he, he sung, he, he rapped his part, but he'll hook you. Yeah, and once uh -huh. he hook you, it's a problem. Yeah, yeah, it's a whole different level. Like nigga, yeah, this nigga gonna yeah, take me somewhere. See, yeah. I like I like rap music where someone is versatile, like like yourself, where they can sing and rap yeah but have a lot of play of words that make you think yeah. not just i don't like fast rappers because yeah. i can't understand one word yeah. you're saying i have to be like okay pause okay replay let me hear what <laughs> you're saying but i can understand yeah. you and i love your play of words because it makes me think like so i, wow. I was i was a poet first you know okay whenever you can tell you can you could tell i can tell it's a vibe it's a whole vibe yeah i i uh like i said i grew up idle you know to myself a lot mm -hmm. so and being that i didn't have friends and young cousins and mm -hmm. stuff like that shit, who i was gonna share my thoughts and feelings and opinions with already you know what i'm saying so i found you know uh refuge in in a pen and paper Wow. You know, I started writing poetry, mm -hmm. you know, beautiful poetry, really, like yeah. stuff that was making people cry. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You seen that, it. that was at like tw 12, 13. Wow. That's, <clears> that's so got to be inspiring. good that he turned his idle time to something constructive because yeah. you have a, a lot, lot of kids, kids don't. A lot of kids don't. Who have the well, idle I'm talking about the kids he just up, talked about earlier. Right, Same thing. end up on yeah. the streets, you know, selling drugs because they're hanging out with friends, you know, whatever. They don't want to be at home. Right. You took that into something constructive, and I love that. Thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, man, you're doing a great job, man. So this next project, when did you say it's coming in? in, in not long. April 4th. April yeah, 4th. Oh, it's, about, it's, right, yeah. it's about to show up yeah. in a minute. It's Easter. called the H team. The H team. We got to try yes, to figure man. out a way to do something big for that day. What day is that on? Uh, I don't know what actual what day. What date is it on? Look it up. Look it up. Let's see where it's at. I want to know what date is on. Yeah. I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, you you going to have a listening party or anything like that? So I'm going to do a meet and greet. Okay. I just... uh. I'm one of those dudes that I build relationships wherever I okay. go. You okay. Know what I'm oh, so I definitely. I went to uh Redbird Mall recently. Okay, yeah, yeah. And uh That's a Sunday. I just uh Easter yeah, Sunday. Easter Sunday. Easter I should Sunday. Have known. I, Easter me, Sunday, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Easter fall on Sunday every Yeah, every so year. you met some some cats over there. You wanna do it over there? Yeah, I was uh I was uh what was I doing in the mall? I was actually buying this ring. Okay, you know what okay. Saying? Shout out these new diamonds on my face. Already. You know what I'm saying? Yes, yeah, yeah. sir. That's uh, it. Brooklyn Jewelers got me right. All right, know? Brooklyn. Shout out Brooklyn. Yeah. Nigga, I'm coming get my next, nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> big, big diamonds on the fingers. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. I'm coming right behind my boy, mm. asshole and gold, nigga. Give me right. Yeah. So I, I was uh, dealing with them, and uh, I was walking out on my way out the mile, and I just stopped in a couple of the stores, grabbed a couple mm -hmm, of mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. some clothes and shit. So 
uh, on my way, like literally walking out the door, though, I seen this shoe store. Okay. You know? So they sell like uh, retro shoes, like mm -hmm. collectibles and stuff like yeah. that. So of course that caught my attention, but I walked in. I like I say, I just came from the jeweler. I just came from buying some clothes and yeah. stuff. So I'm like, I really don't need to be in this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because these resale shoes, they they go the big money. Yeah, seven, yeah, eight, nine, yeah, 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 yeah. You gonna yeah. have to spend. Yeah. So I'm like, dang. But I'm like, I want this relationship. Though. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I end up finding a pair for like two hundred, and I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna rock with them. And I like them. They're cool. They cool, yeah. but I'm going I'm to open this relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I bought the shoes, got to chopping it up with a dude. You know what I'm saying? It's, uh, Zeke Sneaks. Is what shout out name. Zeke Sneaks, man. Yeah, Zeke Sneaks. So shout out dude. He was actually real cool dude. Had good energy. You know, and uh, he was just like, man, yeah, man, I like your vibe and stuff, man. You look like a rapper. You know, you got your, your, your whole little situation going on. So he's like, uh, anytime, man, you can just... Come to have a listening party here. You want to sell some merch if you want to this, that, and the other. So I did what I needed to them to, you know, make that situation. Hey, man, that, I'm, and, and, and at the end of the day, man, that day, man, like I said, I'm going to try to home on into you. If I'm up here at the shop, I'm going to try to reach out to you, man. Yeah. We we got to do things to push the agenda on every platform, man. That's the way it right go. On. You know, this this internet thing make it all the way different the way people get down. So yeah. we got to always think about that. You got to go the extra mile when it come down to the internet resources yeah. and, the, and the social media platform, pushing it every every stream. People should be able to hear it, and and that's how it happens, you know. Right. But but the and pandemic it, it, made people do that even more. I think it's uh, the algorithm is is definitely stronger now than it mm -hmm. was before that little mm -hmm. pandemic thing happened. Far as when it comes to the internet resources, yeah. people know they got to rely on it more. People working at home more. People tuned in more, and mm -hmm. we got to take advantage of. It. We got to figure right out a way on. to make sure we everywhere they, we need to be to make sure that they hear what they need to hear. Right. Right, right on. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. Um, it was a song. You and you and Trilly Pope got a song called One Way. Mm -hmm. What's up with that? And that one ain't came out yet either. Nah, this all on the on the coming okay. project, the Ace Team, man. So, uh, Trilly Pope, man. I love that dude. He just left here. Hell the boy just orders, pulled right? up, man. That you nigga, nigga fly. Y'all all fly to me. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I ain't going to tell him what I'm going to get. Oh, Trilly bow tie shining oh, shoes. Oh, man, this nigga yeah, guy. He yeah. got up in here. I don't know what he was doing. Hell, I said, man, that's my guy, though. He was so humble. Yeah. He was so real when it came down to who he is as a person. Just like you. Yeah. I mean, you know, y'all y'all got this vibe, man. Both of y'all different. He catered a different type of music than what you would normally hear in the rap genre. To yeah. me, it's a, it sticks out a little bit different. Same like yours is more. I don't know what to call it, bro. But y'all, yeah. y'all got this thing where y'all in your own lane. You know, I yeah. just put it like that, and that's a good thing. But how did you and how did y'all come up with this banger? So, uh, <clears throat> I want to say Kalani on the beat made that happen. Made that beat the production for it. Okay. I'm not I'm not a hundred percent sure though. Somebody else may have made that one, but uh. I did it at Kalani Studio. Okay. You know, I uh I knew Trilly through music. You okay. Know, just okay. uh him being his own power and his own entity. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And uh Did he know you already as well? Yeah, we, we knew Yeah, I heard each other, from, heard it heard it. from uh just being around different venues. Okay. Y'all both got some with Chucky Chucky Trill too. Yeah. And B yeah. Banks. B Banks got you don't have nothing with B Banks yet, dude. Not yet, but okay. I, I wanna That's work with That's my guy, him. man. Just on the strength of Chuck, I wanna work with Yeah, 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 yeah. It, 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 it's and, a movement. Again, R.I.P. My nigga Chuck Trill. R.I.P. Chuck Trill, man. Trill, you know man. What I'm real talk. I love, I love that man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You got yeah. a tattoo of him. You must. Nah, real shit. Yeah, I yeah. Got you trill, put Trill, trill on my back. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, yeah. So yeah. my nigga got my back forever. Ever. You know yeah, what I'm yeah, 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 yeah. Trill, shit. Trill. Yeah. He seemed like a nice guy. Seemed like he had a great energy too. I couldn't understand yeah. that whole thing, and I know they still trying to figure it out. He, man, yeah, he, he. Uh, overcame so much yeah. to still be slain. Like, yeah. it's, it hurt so much because eight years in the penitentiary. Yeah, I didn't you know, know that. He, he had just be the case, another mm. case. Like, wow. maybe like two months or something like that. Mm. I don't know the time frame exactly, wow. but uh, he had just signed a couple deals. Like I thought he was rocking out with 1501. Uh, he got a relationship with yeah, them. I, yeah, I, I, that's what I thought. But because I always, you know, he went with fifteen oh one. He went he, with them, okay. but he Chuck, just Chuck signed himself, like me. Really? You know what okay. I'm saying, yeah, he made it, his own label, signed himself. And, Have you and very successful? Link with Carl, Carl Crawford and them boys down there before? No, yeah, I'm. So I actually am. Uh, probably gonna end up signing with fifteen oh one. You think that's where yeah, you're gonna be so at? I'm. Uh, I've been. Uh, hanging with Carl for a couple of months now. Okay. Know? Yeah. Shout out to Carl Crawford, and he knows. 
he been he been rocking with my 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 page. Mm -hmm. I, I love that. That's Every time up. I wake up, up, he'll he'll look at it or something, and I email him. I keep emailing him. Yeah. I'll be like, anytime your artists come through Dallas. Y'all got to stop through Boss Talk One On One. Set it up. Yeah, tell him. I yeah, set it up, yeah. Just mention it to him because I already emailed him. We, like, we need the house slide. Yeah, through, yeah. You know anytime, know anytime you come through the D, you got to come see E at Boss Talk One On One. Yeah, <laughs> man, big Boss Talk. Yes, yeah, so, man. Yeah, big Boss yeah, Talk, man. man. It's going down <laughs> that way. You man. know the thing I say about you, man, is I, like I said, I said Grammy Award winning early. I meant that, bro. Like that's why Erica hit you up because y'all yeah. like mine. I, I hate to say it, y'all. Y'all, you could tell y'all different, and she seen that. She seen herself in you. Yeah. I say that I'm a fly a now. Lot of people, oh, I'm fly. You heard what I just talk, said? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's seen herself yeah, in you. Uh, a lot of people think she's seen Andre in me. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. you know what I'm I don't. I, I, I mean, she she's seen some Andre in you. I get that, but that creativity. The, I think it's the 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 way you you're different, bro. Andre's different. Don't get yeah. me wrong. He got his own thing, but you got your own thing going too. It ain't like you saying, "Okay, I'm gonna be like this." Is why I aspire to be. It wasn't. It ain't like that. Nah, I didn't even nah. know about Andre three thousand yeah. when I rap, when I started rapping. Like no, that, you, you can tell. So, you can like I said, I, I didn't listen to music at all. No, no, so you can tell. It just was me going. At, this is my voice. I sound like this. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. If I rap into a microphone to a beat, people are like, "Oh, he sound like Andre three thousand. I sound like me." Yeah. But Cool that if they remind you of Andre 3000. I think it, I, I think it he, does he too now that I think do it. Yeah, <laughs> like, right, right, I mean, right. but but I, I want to say I could see that she hear that, but it's something different about you and your style. I've been watching the videos. I've been seeing how you doing your thing, yeah. and I know that it's not something where oh, okay, I'm seeing him and I'm gonna do that. It ain't right, like that, right. bro. I know. I believe me. If it was, I will tell you. You right know, <laughs> right I'd be on. like, "No, nah, nigga, you acting like old boy." Yeah, yeah. I didn't do that to preachers, man. I'm, I'm pretty. I'm pretty. I'm to like preachers. You. Yeah, I'm like, no, nah, you. Yeah, I think you act like they do. All y'all act the same. You know yeah, man. Like you gotta. It, it's a thing because you gotta understand, man. I like genuineness. Mm -hmm. So real gonna recognize real. Right on. I mean, you, you. We talking earlier, you know, just some some of the things that we talk about and some of the things that you saying, you know. I know for a fact, man, that you something different, and 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 I would never violate that by trying to stand it up any other way. Right on. Period. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm <laughs> That's it. Always I can't that. wait to see the work, man. I can't. I, I man, hope you and you and Carl and them end up getting that deal straight. Yeah, I'd love to see y'all work because yeah. he do a good job, man. Yeah. And and to me. I seen the girls pop off on that, but you would be the dude to pop off on that whole yeah. label, bro. Yeah. But shout out Stunner Bam though. Okay, that, okay. That's the uh I don't know if it's the first male artist he working with, yeah. but that's that's who he they trying to pop off right now. Okay. okay. So they did their thing. With I did, I hadn't even I hadn't tuned into him. I gotta lock into him. Cause I've been right. seeing I seen Megan and I seen Erica, Erica Banks again. Shout Banks. out Erica Banks from yeah, Dallas, shout Texas. Out Erica too, yeah. So, so that's more. why that's yeah. why I was like the girls to me, but I, I gotta check him out. Yeah. So is he good? He, good. he so got Stunner some. Bam, yeah, so Stunner Bam. Uh, Stunner Bam Shout actually, out Stunner Bam. Stunner Bam actually been around for a while. Okay, he, okay. You know in H-Town. So, yeah. Okay. So uh, I don't know how long he been with Carl. I think it's a new situation. Okay. I'm not sure, though. But uh, yeah, I, I went to the studio just on my own uh, accord, you know, fucking with Carl. And uh, one of the times that I went, they was listening to some of his project that was getting ready to drop. <clears throat> and I liked a couple of the songs, you know. Yeah. So I was like, yeah, man, he's a good dude. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying, music-wise. And Yeah. Uh, I ended up going to his listening party he had out here in, in Dallas, too. Okay. With uh, Hollywood Bay Bay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I shout out Hollywood Bay Bay. He do them yeah. listening parties. I be on him about that, man. Boy yeah. going hard over there. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, over there. Y'all yeah. over there off of, uh, in Addison, over there by our Beltline or something. I've been over there yeah. uh, years ago. I hadn't been lately, though. Yeah. I be staying, man, I'm so, hey, man, I'm low to the earth, baby. Yeah, I forgot the name of the Luminous. 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 Yeah, 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 Luminous yeah, yeah, yeah. That was actually the first studio I ever recorded at when I came to Dallas. Really? Okay. Yeah. I like this setup over there, oh, too. Yeah. It's I nice. Think it's, I think that's like the number one studio no, it's nice. I, in Dallas. Yeah. Like, if I'm not no, mistaken. no, it's nice. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, it's a whole different whole vibe. Bunch, whole bunch of unnecessary recordings. Oh, space. yeah. <laughs> I'm saying like. Yeah, the, yeah, the your room in, another room on, in front of another room. The, I see. I booth, know what he's doing over there. The booth is like the size of this, this, this room. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, that, like, that's, that's popping, though. Yeah. That show us great love in Dallas. We love to have you. Oh yeah, you can, <laughs> you can put an orchestra in that motherfucker. Right? Now, Everything is big in Texas. So yeah, you better believe it. Say it again. <laughs> Say it again. That's what got you still here. Don't play. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jay, gotta be honest. <laughs> so, I love it, man. So, yeah, man. Um, so I got a question. You got a question? Yes. All right, get it, get it popping. I want you to give me your top three artists. Oh yeah, of all yeah. time. Top three artists. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. That's what we do here. Any genre. Yes, sir. I'm glad you said dead or alive because it brought me back to bring up Pac. Pac is man. also. Uh, Pop. <laughs> yeah, but, but let me, yeah, let me yeah. say this before, yeah, before I go. Let you go any further with that Pac statement. Yeah. You ought to feel very, very Be careful blessed. What you saying? No, blessed. Okay. To do Brad Jordan yeah. did a song with Pop. He did. Yeah. I, I'm trying to have a conversation. Well, how was that? You know, that's what I want to do here. You had an opportunity to work with a guy that worked with Pac. That's that's on a whole nother level for me, bro. Yeah. Real talk. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yeah. You you know your history. But but you don't know this part of the new history. Talk about it. I got the last verse from Face. Really? He said he ain't rapping no more. Get and out of here. Walked out the booth and said, that's it. The homie shook my hands like, you got the last one. I'm hanging it up after this, man. He done. Wow. I was like, man. I, I don't know if he going to hold true to that. You know, you know Jay-Z yeah, Jay 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 retires yeah. Jay yeah. Jay yeah. every year. You yeah, know yeah, 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 yeah. They retire. You know what I'm saying? I but hope, I, I hope I, so. I, We hadn't heard much from him lately anyway, though. Yeah. So I could see that, man, because he been dibbling, dabbling in the different things, you know, with the city and all type of stuff. So I get it. But yeah. if he did, you blessed man and anyway just to be in the room and even do a song with him anybody would have been that's a whole nother level bro so Scarface uh, so Pac is his number Pac one. is number one Scarface man shout out Brad Jordan man you ain't for to stop rapping nigga I need these lyrics man you know what I'm saying it's therapeutic yeah. baby <laughs> that's how I felt when I heard it I was yeah like, for what <laughs> stop rapping for a while you don't like, you know, have to he's you know what I'm saying he's probably just tired of it he yeah. wants to do some other I, I stuff I think he uh I don't, is that blues he got a band now. Okay, yeah. That's probably, I don't know if he have a band, but he he he, he loves rocking one with one or he they they just be rocking out or something like that. That's I'm not sure, up. but yeah, wow. wow. Yeah. And he cold too. That's what's he up. Cold, yeah, Tupac. So Tupac, of That's course, number uh, one. Uh, I would have to, I have to say like Erica. Erica Badu. I, I, I wouldn't blame you. Yeah. I wouldn't blame you at one bitch. She from Dallas, <laughs> Texas. Yeah, I, I'm just gonna be real. Uh, two, Are you number three? Tupac. No, no, no. Two, let's go back down through that. Tupac, Erica, and then uh, Tupac, Erica Badu. And I, I probably couldn't just say three, man. No, no, we need one more. We I'm got to have it. No, I'm saying, the show. no I, I'm, I could say Give me three, one, but, but saying, you're like, dang, I need more. I know what you're I'm saying. I might have to leave some people out. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Erica Badu. Oh. Er, Erica Badu. <laughs> Steph said, leave him off. Pimp C. Man. Pimp this C, is my man. guy. That's why I love this nigga hey. right here, man. You can, you can come to the show any day, yeah. any way. You ain't got a you ain't got a set appointment. Just pull up. That's all you yeah, have to do. Pull up. Asshole right? and go pull up, man. Nigga, <laughs> boss talk one on one approved. Period. Yeah. <laughs> Exclamation. I loved it, bro. Tupac. <laughs> keep on going with Eric it. Badu Erica Badu and, and Pimp C. C, man. Texas, holla at your boy. It's a no, unique hustle. Awesome. Yeah, man. On, man. So so uh how can how can we how can they get a hold of you? Somebody that don't know. What, what what's your handles out there on Instagram? Uh, I'm most most pops. Look, Trilly just popped in the room. Man. Did he? Yeah. Man, you know shout what out. Hey, what up, boy? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were just talking about your family. Yes, sir. Hey, Paul. Yeah, we were just talking about your family, man. Shout out to my dog. Trilly, Paul. Uh, what you had just asked me? Well, I was just Where asking, they how, they, how can you? they find you? Oh, uh, I'm at A I N G. Of Fang Gang on Instagram. Okay. Yeah, F A N G G A N. And okay. YouTube. Uh, but everything else, you can search me asshole and go. Okay. Asshole and go. Yeah, that's so asshole I N go, not the letter N or not the word and, because uh -huh. people those are the two misconceptions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you know I, mean, I, I was looking it up and I had to figure that out. <laughs> yeah. I don't know why people think asshole and go like that. Sound kind of <laughs> sus <laughs> suspect, really. Like, <laughs> Asshole and go. <laughs> yeah, 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 no. No, but yeah. um, I know you, you have that symbol, the pound sign and an eight. What, what's so, that? So it's missing from this side, but it's supposed to be the eight on this side. So this means Fang Gang, and the eight is to symbolize eternity. So okay. it's like Fang oh. Gang forever. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because I started, that's good I was research. like, huh. I, I didn't know. That's a question I didn't get to do, but I got my questions right. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> We're very competitive. Yeah, man. Yeah, cool. man. But you didn't answer all Nick, my. Though. You didn't answer all my questions, man. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. What do your parents think about your music? That's what I. The, your mother. His mother. I think, yeah. Have you ever I, met your father? Yeah. So uh, my dad is actually a pastor. So yeah. it, it's weird that we don't have a relationship. Really? You know wow. what I'm saying? Like doing fine. Know me. Know where I lived all my life. He actually paid child support up until 18. Yeah. yeah. And then that was his last moment to speak or connect or whatever. But even while he was paying child support, he never kept a relationship with me. It was always slide the money under the door. Yeah. Run back to the car. Yeah. I'd have seen him do that because... I, I was getting I've in trouble. I seen in a movie. I, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, this is some shit out of a movie. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's crazy. I done seen. Your him. life is a movie. Nigga, you need to write a book. Oh, it's going to be. It's yeah, going to be. Yeah, yeah. You need to write a book because that's w- crazy. I was at home uh, suspended from school a couple of times. That's how I used to see him come slide the, 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 the check mind. under the door. Mm, you know what I'm saying? Love, but man, those run. were the only times I physically laid eyes on my father. So wow. you never spoken to him before? One time when I was 15 years old. That's crazy. I got my first job. So crazy let me just tell y'all the story oh yeah we get is this exclusive yeah. you ain't told this yeah. before uh not in in this type of deal okay let's okay. go you know, so when i was 15 years old i got my first job on at kroger's okay mm-hmm. you know uh where i lived at my front gate was on homestead my back gate was on the street called aldine mill route okay aldine mill route stretch for a while like you know it's a long mm-hmm, street mm-hmm. uh you got my neighborhood like i say the back, like the back gate starts my neighborhood. Uh, I mean, the, the end of the street starts at my neighborhood. Then you have maybe three minutes from there, the Kroger's. Okay. Then you have maybe three minutes from there, uh, my middle school. Okay. Then right across the street from my middle school was his church. Wow. Mm. Right, right, uh, like maybe one minute from that was my high school. Wow. I lived my whole goddamn life. Right there at his, right, right there, there by with him. him. Yeah. And he never would speak to me. He never would try to make a relationship. And he seen you. And I don't I know. He would see you in passing. I don't know. This is, know how he, he didn't, he don't. He didn't. And right. that's so shameful. He didn't even know what I look like. When I, so this, this is why I'm getting to. That's crazy. When I was 15 years old, I got my first job at Kroger's. So being that his church was there, he, he, had to he stop came in Kroger's. So I'm pushing carts through the parking lot. You know, I was a cart attendant that day. Uh, and he walked past me, and the irony in what he said was, hey, how you doing, son? Wow. <laughs> and just kept on walking. Didn't know who the fuck I was. Yeah. He just wow. said, hey, how you doing, son, and kept on walking. But you knew who but he was. But it stopped me in my tracks because I'm like, can't you the dude to be sliding the goddamn <laughs> child support <laughs> checks under the door? <laughs> You knew like, that was him. Yeah. Wow. So I'm like, wow. And I had his number since I was like 10. I just never, never called, called him. Never called him. So I, I'm erratic. I'm well, this is going off. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm messing with you a little erratic, bit. Erratic, yeah. Yeah. But I'm, uh, I get, I get in my phone. I call him. He answered the phone. Hello. I'm like, hey, uh, you know, you just like walk past me. This, this your son. That, but I called him daddy when he answered the phone because like, no, I don't know what to call this man. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? So uh, he ended up hanging the phone up in my face. Wow. Yeah. So I, I went home. Of course, told my mom. Oh, your mom had upset you. She went, went off. off the, you yeah. know, like did she uh, call him? Yeah. You know, and he ended up saying, "Well, I'm gonna come and get him on the weekend." <laughs> And well, I'm gonna talk to him. So I'm I'm thinking, oh, I just had a breakthrough, and I'm finna have a daddy. Yeah, 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 you know yeah. What I'm yeah. Saying? No, he didn't show. Man, this no, nah, he showed. Wow, this man picked me up, took me to the Lubies down the street from where we lived. at. <clears throat> he was just explaining to me that he'll never be in my life. I don't really? don't refer to him as daddy. We don't have that kind of relationship. This is what he told me. Wow. Don't call me daddy. We don't have that kind of relationship. I'll never be part of your life. I don't want to be. Wow. And you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's I'm crazy. 15. I'm just looking at this man like Wow. How could wow. you sit here and tell I'm me? I'm just that. sitting here just fumbling through my potatoes. Yeah. Like, like really? Right. Like, damn, bro. That's crazy. Never heard something never like that in my life. That. Yeah. So man. how did and that he knows you, you how or did that make you feel and what did you say oh, to Oh, here go the mental illness. Part. So that's uh, what she did. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't necessarily respond to it. I was just more like, uh, okay, you ain't been my daddy for anyway. All these years, I don't care. Like right. you know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, so, nigga. 
You ain't call that nigga no, nigga. The only reason I nah <laughs> say nigga, the only reason whatever, I nigga. even did what I did is because the moment happened. Right. Yeah, you, know you know saw saying? him. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh. But you know what? But to me, that would give you some sort of closure because you know that it, it you know did what in I mean? a sense. It did in a sense because he he was, you have another family. A, this nigga had another had, family. Yeah. He got a whole nother. He got that's, that's why he is. don't have no more sons. He got a stepson. Then he got like three daughters. But that's your namesake. Like, why would you do that to your you know your name? He had he had me out of wedlock. He cheated on his wife. But still, but and so his me. wife wanted, never knew about him. The church didn't ever, know about me. Not his why. wife knew. It's really? new. I don't know if she knew from jump, but she found out later. Let me not get all up into that. Boy, <laughs> that part ain't trying, going to, in. ain't trying to, yeah, you know but what But you saying? know, the thing I can say is, man, um, <laughs> going through experiences stretch you. Yeah. It pretty much make it to where you go through things, but at the end of the day, it's just to pretty much form the character that we get today. And I thank God asshole. for whatever you win. <laughs> asshole. Not whatever you Birth win, asshole, though, man. It made so you to be the artist you are today. What, so do you think that that's the reason why you are who you are? Because Real direct, yeah. he, had, he was missing he out was, of your life? No, nah, I, I think I kind of embodied that attitude. I like don't he sat down and looked me in my face and told me, yeah, you ain't shit, never going to be shit, leave me alone. Yeah, and, and like, that's damn, motivation, if he nigga. he sat there in my face and told me that, yeah. like, I guess people can talk like that. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, man, hey, to be honest with you, you got it honest. Yeah. You know? Real shit. Yeah, that's and crazy. Just, you know what I say? You got it honest. Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, not to care. Not to even, not to, hey, I'll say whatever yeah. I got to say and do what I got to do. It, it always bothered me, though, because I never, for years and years, I never talked to people about that, never told wow. them about that story. Good. It's a breakthrough when but, you can talk about it. But it wasn't, it wasn't that I couldn't. It was that I didn't want to deter people from God. I felt like if wow. people found out that he was that type of man, that they might believe less in my God. Exactly. So I was like, well, I love God more than I love myself. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I don't want to. That's heavy. Do that, but because that mentally captivated you that yeah, way. Yeah, I, I love that. I love what he's saying because that didn't deter him from God. From oh, God, because no. you could be oh, like, no. my father. Yeah, he's what kind of God we serve? Right. But but I love but that. I just thank God that you See, didn't do that because at the end of the day. Most of the time, people who project what's in the book really don't look the same as the book pretty much tells you to be. Because right. they're human beings too. So, and that's what that's what, kept, yeah. that's what kept safe. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like I say, I like these old vampire movies and these mm -hmm. old movies mm -hmm. because them were different men. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he ain't that. Yeah, mm -hmm. already. You know already. I get it. So I, that's why I wasn't tripping about that's it. That's your why, too. Yeah. That's a hell of a why. Yeah. That's the reason why, nigga, I'm going to go get it. I got to get it anyway. Just oh, yeah. Then it, it, it'll it either make you come closer to your kids or you'll be the same as him. Yeah, so like me and my kids real close. Yeah. It, it did the exact opposite yeah. thing. Mm -hmm. and, and it happens that way. Mm -hmm. Um. You had a hell of that was a hell of a blow, man. You coming up with all these questions, man, at the end. <laughs> hell, we've been sitting here. Folks gotta go to where y'all say y'all going to, y'all going out of town. Yeah, Ain't got we time going, food going with you. To Houston, man. Yeah, yeah, you, you, yeah, you done wrote a book. Look at this. I'm I done. I'm done. <laughs> okay, one more thing. <laughs> <laughs> you done wrote a book. No, but I I noticed you mentioned um that song and I had it written down, Beautiful in Love. Beautiful uh Beautiful is love, sorry. Beautiful, Beautiful is, is love. love. Yeah. I, yes. said, I forgot the title How, then. <laughs> How did you come up with that name and um, what happened? Um, now, was that a fiction or? No. That's why I'm so ashamed about it. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's not fiction. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> so it's like uh, beautiful as love is like. In the, I had the right intention with the song. It just didn't. I don't think it, it came out what I was trying to say. Because beautiful is love, man. Right, because like it, it, sounds, it sounds like a really nice, like, oh, my God, you're saying that love is beautiful. Right. And that's what I was thinking when and I heard And that's the what title. I was trying to sell, but it was more in the sense of me painting a picture of something that wasn't that so that it could be like, oh, no, this ain't love. Like, you know, that was okay. supposed to be the, the thing. Yeah. yeah. But it came out more so, like, that's a vulgar ass song you just said. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It, wow. it wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't for like the last 30, 45 seconds. <laughs> it's just like them last little seconds. I was, I was like, I slamming it. Do people yeah. remake their the songs and make them into something different? Well, when you're like independent, you can do you what can you want to do. Wanna do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So you can always go back and 
you know, do a twist on it and remake it. We, we redropping Beautiful as Love. Wow. Exactly. Shout out to exactly. the dude that can remake his song right here, <laughs> Mr. Boss Talk 101. You know man. Right. man, so we're going to have to have you back on the show, man. man Anytime I'll you got a big project, back. don't just cause you, if you do or end up signing to anybody, do not neglect Boss Talk 101 if, oh, the, nah. if it permits. You man. know, sometimes they have y'all in the stipulations. I, I've had. Uh, many, 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 many interviews and dealt with many, 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 Come many on now. industry people. Come on now. You know, it's hard and rare that you run into somebody you, you just have some good chemistry yeah, yeah, with, yeah. man. I, this was one of my best interviews, I man. believe, you know, so. Man, I, I think I so as well. Back through. Man, I'm going to tell you something, man. There's something about these seats in here, and we've been praying in here for many, yeah. many years. Yeah, let me yeah. take one of these chairs. <laughs> We've been, pray, we been praying. We've been praying for many team. years pray to make sure we, we we come pray up. About it all yeah. the time. But that story that you told will help somebody. That's the whole game for us. Yeah, that's yeah. what we that, want. That, that, that because the realness is is going to affect people and certain kids out there that's going through situations that we don't really know of may be worse than yours. To be, right I know they're worse than yours. Some of them because I got some guys coming over here with some crazy stories. And right. the thing I can say because one guy I talked to yesterday here died. His dad died when he was being born, and then his mm -hmm. mother she died four months after four he was born. He was brought up in a yeah. That's how it going down over here. So yeah. So these are the stories we trying to get out there as well. So you done did both segments because man. no matter what. You're not the only person who's going through it or been through it. Somebody else, younger, is going through the same yeah, thing right well now. Be. Yeah, and yeah. don't know how to deal with certain things, turn it into a wrong right. when you actually turn it into a right. So even with your experiences, I know before you know we used to like to talk about it, but I really encourage you to put it into your music. Maybe not now, if it depends on whenever God moves you to do it, but put it in your music to and turn you. it uh, in, in a now. positive way. Oh, it's way. in there. Yeah, yeah it's okay. in there. Yeah, asshole and go. Yeah, yeah. I, didn't I, don't, I don't feel <laughs> that way no more about already. deterring people from God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, that man is his own man. Already, you know already. <laughs> he made his own, hey, he made his own he bed. Made his own You're going to have to man. lie in it to be honest, because you don't, hey, listen, man, asshole and go got us over here. Hey. Before we leave, go too, ahead. and shout out my little sister as well. Okay, exact same situation. Oh yeah, oh. so yeah. oh you know really? So it's the same. So he have he have another child, her music making mommy. That's my little sister, man. Really? I just met her. Didn't even know she existed. I just I've been knowing her for about two or three years now. And he oh. said the same thing to her. And, and is she, you know the crazy I thing. I gotta is, follow her and get her on here too. The crazy thing. She in is, Houston. Yeah. Okay. She uh actually grew up in his church. Wow. Yeah. And, and he, she, and he did played. She know a book? That yeah, was, never knew. Did never Nobody knew. That was her knew. father. He played like he was her godfather. Wow. The whole time. So, so hold on, hold on. So the, the question that came to my mind when you're saying all this, like, how many other kids? Do we have? And that, I'll be thinking that too. But you I, I would I just mean? hope that ain't, it ain't a, a third one that this, this, you know what I'm saying? If it is, reach out to me, man. Already, like, man. Shit, reach out to that's me. Some real, that's a hell of a story, wow. bro. You really write a book, man. How old is she? Book ready. Uh, she like 25, 26 or something. But that's, a, yeah. that's a far distance yeah. between you and her. And yeah, so he that's was been still going on. Right, that's been going he on for a while. Wow. Wow. That's what I was looking at. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, he hang around the pool pits after church. Well, you know pool pits. Yeah. It's only one place in the Bible in the book of Nehemiah. It, it don't mean much. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Just hit you with the knowledge. Go look it up. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Say it, man. It's been a great segment of Boss Talk 101, man. Appreciate you, bro. Man, I appreciate y'all, man. Beat Boss Talk. Yeah, hey, man. Yo, it's man. a unique hustle. Yeah. And we out.